welcome to Heron Farm. Uh, you may have seen the video that Love News did of us about a year ago when we showed uh, Hannah around around the vineyard and we talked a little bit then about our plans to open a cafe and a farm shop on site. Well here we are, we're about 10 days from opening now hopefully, the final date to be, to be confirmed and it's been a long year, um, quite a lot of building works, landscaping works and of course a pandemic which nobody could have predicted, we just delayed our opening by a few months but we're just about there and we thought it would be really nice to just show you around a little bit. So I'm standing here in the walled garden which is um, our lovely seating area, outside seating area, we've got lots of outside seating which in the current environment I'm sure people will really appreciate. We've even got our outdoor kitchen over there where we can uh, serve serve customers from and we're going to be cooking pizzas in there as well for the summertime doing pizza nights and um, we've also as you can see we've got lots of lovely planting here um, the planting was uh, the garden was designed by uh, James Alexander Sinclair who is the head judge of the Chelsea Flower Show which was a, a very helpful contact that we would got put in touch with because he's done a great job with the walled garden we absolutely love it here and we think our customers will too um, if we just look behind um, we've got the the, 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 the cafe building itself, or our vineyard kitchen as we're calling it. Um, it's a really nice, stunning space, as you probably know, featured on Grand Designs. We've got a mezzanine level in, so you can sit um, on the mezzanine level and look over the vineyard. And it's just, it's a really nice, a really nice place to come and have a cup of tea, maybe a glass of wine, perhaps some lunch, catch up with friends, whatever you want to do. So now we'll just take a little we'll take a little walk and we'll go and see what the rest of the site has to offer because it's not just the vineyard kitchen and the shop and the walled garden. We really want to focus on being uh, somewhere where families might want to come and um, something for the whole family. So we we'll put some things in for the kids to entertain the kids as well. So just follow me for a moment. So we're just coming into the play park now, which we're really quite excited about. Our own children are very excited about, as you can possibly imagine, although they might be a bit shocked to realise that it's not just for them. But, um, but here we go, we had this put in about a month ago now, and we think this is going to be a, a real nice feature for our families to come and enjoy their time here at Heron Farm. We've got some lovely picnic benches which we'll be putting into this field. And um, so you'll be able to order food from the cafe, come and sit out here while your children have a play. So we have some uh, animals as well, because we all know how much uh, children really enjoy having some animals to interact with. So you can just see over here our chicken enclosure. We've got 14 lovely, lovely chickens who lay some lovely eggs for us. And uh, as you can see in the enclosure, we even have our Grand Designs chicken coop, which um, my husband Pete just couldn't resist, it seems, to have, that, to have that built. We couldn't just have any old chicken coop. So, just a little bit of fun. And we'll walk over now, we'll just walk past the edge of the vineyard into the orchard, uh, where we've installed a little fairy trail, and also this is where our sheep live. Now the sheep are called Ushant sheep, they're miniature sheep, special breed of sheep that are particularly small, and um, we've got six of them and they're really quite tame so they'll come and uh, eat food out of your hand if, uh, if you want to do that. Really quite, really quite good fun. We're getting some pygmy goats as well, they're arriving in about a month so that's quite exciting. at the entrance to the fairy trail. Grown-ups will have to duck their heads to, uh, to get in. Here we come. And if you walk through the, uh, through the orchard, if you look carefully, you'll be able to see little fairy houses in the trees. We've also got, uh, we, we had a local chainsaw sculptor do this lovely fairy and toadstools for us, which we think was, he did a, a, lo a lovely job there.
And now we'll just walk over this direction to see the sheep. As you can see as well, the, uh, the apple trees are, uh, are coming in for fruits with the earlies are the, and we've got both early and late varieties and the earlies are already fruiting prolifically. So uh, we'll have lots of uh, apple juice and some cider again this year to sell in the shop. The apple juice has been a real hit locally. Had lots of really nice feedback about it. So it'd be nice to have some more of that. This is our, uh, this is where the sheep are living at the moment. And these are the sheep. Oops. 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 As you can see, they're really rather tame and they love to come and eat some food out of, uh, of your hands. So you'll be able to, uh, customers will be able to buy some, uh, buy some food and um, come and feed the sheep if they want to. Yeah, They're really see. very tame. Oh, hello, beautiful. Haven't <laughs> <laughs> got any food. <laughs> yeah, give me some. <laughs> They're the world's um, smallest breed of sheep, the Russian really? sheep. So, so that's the uh, end of sort of the, 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 the Heron Farm tour. We look, really look forward to being able to come and uh, welcome customers in hopefully just over a week's time, a week and a half's time. Um, we will of course be doing vineyard tours as well, although they'll really pick up next year, next spring, because we're obviously coming into autumn now. And we'll also be available for um, private functions. If you've got something to celebrate, get in touch and we'll see what we can do with you, uh, do for you. So um, yeah, we really look forward to welcoming welcome everybody here. And um, thanks very much. <laughs>